Hey, welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom here in the world famous Student of the Gun Studios. And I'm your host, Paul Markle. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, the topic of today I'm going to talk about, it's, I guess, is you get what you pay for. Now, I'm not telling you to waste money, but at the same time, when you go cheap, you're going to pay for it. And let me give you a couple of examples. Uh, number one, this is one of my favorites. Guys that go out and they'll buy, um, they'll spend... Eight hundred, nine hundred, thousand, twelve hundred dollars on a gun, on a pistol. They'll get a custom whatever, and then they go over to the rack and they buy the cheapest molded holster that they can buy for it. And then they wonder after two weeks or three weeks or a month on the range that the holster breaks. Dude, you spent fourteen hundred dollars on a gun and you're gonna go over and get hmm, what's on sale this week? Uh, let me get that seventeen dollar plastic holster. Dude, spend the money. Okay, um, and that's that's a personal choice, but come on, don't complain when something breaks. Also, if it's concealed carry gear, if you're going to buy something that you're going to wear every single day, every day of your life, you're going to get up in the morning, you're going to put it on, people are like, well, I don't know, that one concealed carry holster, they want $79 for it. And I'm like, well, that's an awful lot of money. Now, how much did you spend on your gun? Do you ha Are you carrying a $700 gun, an $800 gun? I mean, are you carrying a super cool G-Wiz 1911 that you spent $18.99 for with all the cool accessories and bells and whistles, and you want to put it in a $20 holster? And then people put, they buy $20 holsters, and they complain. They're like, oh, I can't get this gun to carry right. It's always digging into me. That's because you bought a $20 holster. Think about it, dude. Let's say you spend $80 on a holster. You get a good holster for $80. You wear it every single day. 365 days a year for eight to nine hours a day. All right, maybe 10 hours, 12 hours a day, I don't know. But the fact is, you take that $80, you divide it over 360, and what is it? A quarter a day, 50 cents a day, I'm not gonna do gorilla math right now, but it's definitely less than a dollar a day for something that you're gonna wear every single day and potentially save your life with. So when it comes to, and dudes, check this out. Had somebody recently uh, talk about pepper spray alternate use of force okay you should have an alternative use of force on your body in addition to a gun because not every problem can be solved with a gun so i told somebody hey go out and get a fox pepper spray fox oc it's what i use when i was a cop i've sprayed a lot of people with fox oc and it works really really well right well the little two ounce unit it costs uh something like 18.99 and the dude's like ah yeah, I said, hey, did you get that? Uh, did you get that fox pepper spray? Mm, well, yeah, I went and looked, but they they had another one at the store that that didn't cost so much. And I'm like, well, well, what did you buy? And he's like, well, I bought brand S. Mm -hmm. Let's just call it brand S. And and he only paid twelve dollars for it. Well, brand S is crap. All right. So this dude just saved himself six or seven dollars on pepper spray, and he's got what he's got now is crap versus what I told him was really good, and so he could save six bucks. Well, what are you using pepper spray for? Okay, the whole reason you're using the OC is because, okay, there's that annoying drunk or the person who doesn't have a gun or a knife, but he won't get out of your way or, or you know, so you're gonna spray him. Or you think, hey, he might try and harm me. Well, dude, if I told you, hey, I'll stop that guy from punching you in the face if you give me $18.99, would you give me the $18.99 or would you, oh, I won't give you $18.99 to stop that guy from punching me in the face. Come on, kids. Just spend the extra six or seven dollars. You're talking about a product. All right, pepper spray. Let's go ahead and continue down that road real quick. OC spray, let's say, let's round number it 20 bucks. You spend $20 on a quality, a quality pepper spray product, OC product. Okay, you carry that on you, and instead of whipping out your gun, to shoot the aggressive dog that's bothering you, to shoot the aggressive drunk that won't leave you alone, um, the guy who wants to, uh, you know, rough up your, your wife or your kids or something like that. Okay, say roughing up your wife, you're probably going to shoot him. But the point is, instead of using your gun to do that, you defuse the situation, you use your pepper spray instead, you don't have to use your gun. Brother, if you pull your gun out of your holster and you shoot somebody with it, it's going to cost you a lot more than 20 bucks in attorney fees and insurance and so forth to get your butt out of it and to portray yourself as the good guy. So, Lord in heaven, spend the freaking money on quality gear. All right? Enough said. So, 
don't go cheap. I'm not telling you to waste money, but when it comes time to save your own life, to protect your own life and the life of your family, spend the freaking money. I bet you got a $500 iPhone in your pocket, don't you? Or a plasma screen TV or any if you're like, oh, you know, it's easier for you to say. It's like, well, first of all, I'm not a millionaire. But second of all, spend the money on what's important. Everybody's got priorities. And the fact is, maybe you think, ah, eh, Owning a gun, owning pepper spray, owning all that stuff, that's not really that important. What's more important to me is a six-pack and a plasma screen TV. Hey, rock on. Be honest with yourself. But don't buy cheap garbage and then wonder why it doesn't work for you. All right, until next time, this is Paul Markle, your favorite professor. And what are you going to do for more Student of the Gun? You're going to go to studentofthegun.com.